So I made a video a while back going over Heaven Ascension Dio and how people wanted to bring him up for a lot of the other videos that would mention either strong characters or forms of Dio, though I also had this influx of questions asking who even is Heaven Ascension Dio and what does he even do? I want to say the easiest thing to do to get that answer is play Eyes of Heaven, but to be honest with you, I'm not all in the gameplay, just more on the story and lore of it all, so I can't really redirect everyone to it. So I'll be doing all I can here and be going over the characters, stand, stand power, and all of that. So Heaven Ascension Dio is the product of the Heaven Plan that Dio had created before Stardust Crusaders, which we see in Stone Ocean. The plan was originally made for Dio, but in Stone Ocean it was Pucci who executed the plan since Dio was defeated by Jotaro. The thing about the Dio we have here is that he's a Dio from a universe where Dio had beaten Jotaro in Stardust Crusaders. This is also the reason why I haven't done a video on what if Dio won because Eyes of Heaven is literally that. So he had executed the heaven plan by doing everything necessary, the trustworthy friend, 36 sinners, 14 phrases and the breakdown of his stand which had made something new. Pucci had made in heaven. Dio got the world over heaven. The power of the world over heaven is the ability to overwrite reality. The thing with Dio's reality overwrite and the power of Jojo is that this is an extreme jump. Dio was able to overwrite infinite spin and gold experience Requiem's ability to reset to zero. Infinite Spin had a power that had transcended dimensions, including a dimension that redirects all misfortune, which did a pretty good job at making the user invincible. The power of gold experience Requiem had transcended time, space, and reality itself. There was also a side ability to where basically if GER was to kill you, it would put you into this reality or set you into this space where all you can do is die. In a sense, he was able to create a personal hell for anyone he goes against. So, Dio had this ability that goes over all of that. With being able to do that, he's made a list of other things to where it makes you think that he obtained the anime form of the Infinity Gauntlet. He can control people by stealing their soul, resurrect the dead back to their form that they were at before they died, and write people out of their existence. What's not focused on is that he's also able to move from universe to universe with this power. He's also stated to basically have infinite time stop added onto all of that, and that's just insane. Side note from the script, um, some people have asked me about the limitations of what, how far do I think that his reality overwrite goes. Well, if it's above all reality overriding abilities and all that types of mumbo jumbo and Jojo, it's kind of ridiculous to see where it would actually end off because at this point, he could modify himself, it's just that he never thought of needing to modify himself any way or form because he thought that he was just the all-powerful form against everyone else. It's just that that was all in his head. He can make himself stronger, but that's just not it. He could also do exactly what Bohemian Rhapsody did since it wouldn't be that hard out of his hands to do so. It's just that I don't think he ever needed the idea for it. And the whole idea of using loved ones and all that, making them mess with their head and all that, that that's, that's basically what Dio had done and it just made the situation all better for himself. Not really thinking outside the box for himself though, definitely could have done something that's just not what he did. Now if there's anything else you guys want me to do around this topic or others, maybe involving verses and involving other characters that aren't Dio, I'll be sure to check that all out in the comment section. Uh, there's also some fusion stuff if you guys want to know, like the, that's all like the stuff I did on my channel, just hit me up on the comment section, that's sort of literally it, or Twitter. Uh, now for those that didn't play Eyes of Heaven or don't know anything about him, you might just be thinking. Well, he sounds kind of busted. How the, how the fuck do you beat him? Star Platinum over Heaven. It's the same stand. Who knew? Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, same thing for what I said before. Uh, if there's anything that you guys would want me to do more of, like if, what types of series and all that stuff, I could be asking in the polls, but I just like thinking that... Uh, the videos are the best way to go about it. So I recently did character studies and in, uh, analysis. There's some fusion type deals like Jonathan with One For All, which I'm thinking about moving, I'm doing more so of because I also have more ideas for that type of stuff. Uh, there's just so much that I do already. So if there's certain things that you guys want me to finish up, I'll be sure to check that out if there's enough support for it, uh, for like old stuff. And that's about it. Anything else you guys need me for, you guys can follow me on Twitter and hit me up there. Uh, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for coming out. You guys can catch me on Twitch or my second channel. Recently just uploaded a Pokemon video there. I think I like it a lot. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for all coming out. See you all in the next one. Until then, peace out and Godspeed.